And then, yeah, let's get into using these products. Yeah, I'm gonna make this quick, because it's like my channel is not about makeup, you know, I'm not about my channel. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! So what I am wearing, because I know you guys are not gonna fool you. Line by K, line by K, long sleeves, t-shirt, a little tipsy, a little, little, uh, What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Sierra And I am back with a vlog, a get ready with me, which I feel like maybe I've done one of these before, I'm not sure, but I am going to a surprise birthday dinner. And I haven't seen y'all in a little minute and I'm like, let me just do a get ready with me. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Um, I get my hair done. Oh my gosh, I'm like literally obsessed with it. Uh, it was done by this lady named Star, which if you want her info, DM me, cause Star is like, when she told me, she was like, I don't like talking to everybody. I'm like, period sis. Cause to get Star number, I had to wait a week. So yeah, she hooked me up though. I'm so obsessed with my hair. I literally told her when I sat in her chair, I was like freestyle. I'm like, I don't even know what I would want. Like just freestyle. Cause I feel like, Braiders, no hairstylists, no way hairstyles will fit people's face. I mean, I guess you just gotta be like trusting of them and trusting of that. The last time I did my makeup, you guys actually really liked it, and it was probably like five years ago or something like that. I'll link it up in the cards, but I had used like Shea Moisture, and yeah, my makeup routine has definitely changed since then. Um, not so much, like I'm still all about my dewiness, all about a natural, you know, finish at the end of the day. I'm not trying to give like beat beat, you know, I'm trying to give natural, natural beat. I just hate the lighting on this camera. But quick little outfit of the day that I was wearing, this cute little green little tank top that I got from Front General Store. Obsessed with it. Y'all can't see nothing, like, ugh, I'm so sorry, y'all. And I do not know how to work this camera for real still after having it for so long. Anyway, yeah, grand little tank top from Front General Store. My green cargoes that I got from my blend supply, which everybody always asks me about, but they like pretty much like army surplus and they make me look a little thick. Okay, period. And then I was just wearing my little um, Margiela sneakers. And this is what I was looking like today. I just came back from Home Goods. I had to get me some stuff. Oh, let me show y'all what I got from Home Goods. Hold on. So this is actually what I got from Home Goods. Home Goods haul. Oh, no. <laughs> but um, yeah, I got a birthday bag for my friend. It's her birthday. And I, yeah, got her a couple of things. But most importantly, I needed a pair of like cotton sheets, y'all. Cause like, oh my gosh. I got like synthetic sheets and just like clothing, it is not good to buy synthetic sheets, okay? So I am so happy to now have these cotton, okay, sheets. Um, so I'm gonna wash them before I put them on my bed, but yes, they're by Tommy Hilfiger in 100% premium cotton. And it was $30, I was like, ooh, I wasn't expecting, but I guess that's actually a good price for that. And then, oh, this is her gift, but oh my God, I do wanna say, cause I'm gonna take this all out anyway, but this candle, oh, I got this for her as a gift. I wish I could keep it for myself. It smells so freaking good. I don't even know the brand. Um. But you guys gotta trust me on this. Like, oh my God. I hope that she really likes it, but it smells like fresh and like ooty. Yeah, and it's like We Can Change the World. That's the name of it. But oh my gosh, this smells so freaking good. And then I got her just like a little mirror that, cause she just moved into an apartment. This is my friend Jalisa, who I actually met first time, was in Paris, and then she actually moved to Chicago. Um, recently and yeah so she just found her apartment so i think that's so exciting so i feel like this would be cute to like sit up somewhere in her apartment like maybe in her bathroom or something it's literally just like those little mirrors you know the little 3d not so 3d type of mirrors so i think that would be cute along with the little candle i feel like that's like a cute little gift that you can use and then i'm gonna put it all in this bag i'll probably use this reuse this paper but yeah that is all that i got from home goods you guys Let's So good. 
Mm -mm. So I chose to go with this look right here, which is a little black ruched little long sleeve. It is by The Line by K, and I absolutely love this long sleeve so much. It's so long on my arms. And I feel like I chose to go with this look because it's the easiest to wear. I'm gonna be inside of a restaurant with blasting AC and I needed to wear a long sleeve slash be comfortable and like, yeah. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna get like Mexican food, so I'm like, I didn't wanna wear the whole slip dress and everything, but those are good options for someone else's birthday in the summertime. Um, yeah, and then I'm just wearing my Balenciaga jeans, which I always freaking wear, and Teddy. So this is the look, you guys. I'm sorry, like, oh. uh, bear with me. I am literally doing this very last minute. minute, minute. Um, yeah, I don't have time to like do the whole thing. I'm leaving my lips a little bit dry because I want to show y'all this Dior lip oil in case you haven't tried it. I feel like I'm so late to the game, but I've just always been a Dior gloss girl. And then I just wear like whatever type of chapstick. But this oil, this Dior oil is like chapstick and lip gloss in one. And it just blew my mind. So yeah, let's get into the face. All right, bow. Let's get into it, you guys. I don't use that many products. So this is definitely for my less is more girlies. About one, two, three, four, five products for my whole makeup routine. And for skincare, I just use Neutrogena Clean and Clear. I've been using it since I was like 16 years old and I don't care what anybody say, it works for me. And then Witch Hazel is my toner. I use that to, you know, get deep into my pores so I clean them I don't care it works for me because I feel like people say bad things about witch hazel but I love witch hazel and then sorry right after using witch hazel I immediately replenish my skin with moisture and I go in with this stick that I get from this yoga studio that I go to I'm gonna try to link it up here for you guys but this stuff is just so freaking good it just makes my skin so soft and it's like all natural so it doesn't break me out and then I applied it with this little glow recipe. I really like that too. Um, they sell it at Sephora and I just feel like it just makes my skin look even more dewy on top of like that oil. And then yeah, let's get into using these products. Yeah, I'm gonna make this quick because it's like my channel is not about makeup, you know, I'm out about my channel. I never talk about my makeup and I never do get ready with me's and I like watching get ready with me's, especially like the little, um, the Vogue ones, like I love them. Um, the latest one I watched was, who was it? A lot of people's. Like, I, was, I just recently watched, like, Tiana Taylor's and, um, what's her name? Sophie Richie. I don't know her new last name, her husband's last, or her, or her last name is that she's married. So, I'm gonna be honest. I just recently picked up this Mario Badescu. I used to use this all the time when I was, like, again, like, 16 years old. I used to use this. And I don't know why I stopped using it. But yeah, I picked it up. Even if you don't wear makeup, it's just so good to just. Oh, sorry, couldn't breathe there. <laughs> Give your skin just like a little refresh, like that's what it's for. So I'm gonna use it as a base because usually I'll like damp this with like water, but I'm actually gonna use my Mario Badescu to give it some dampness. And then, like I said, I'm no makeup artist, and usually I will use Dior's Glow Effect Foundation. Like just like under my arms, like under my arms, <laughs> under my eyes, and just like through my skin. Yeah, I'm gonna get close to you guys. Let's get intimate. But I have not yet replaced or replenished myself with the Dior. So I've been using LA Girl Pro Concealer. Cause I don't really like using a lot of makeup anyway. So I'm just like, I really don't need the Dior, but I really do like the Dior. But this one, I'm not gonna hold you. Like if you a less is more person, like less is literally more like, in this case so i'm going to be using the la pro conceal girl <laughs> in espresso this is what i do when i'm like going to work or whatever yeah 
But what's new in fashion, guys? The Martine Rose Nike sneakers, I'm just like loving that literally I see them everywhere. Like, I love that for her. Love, love, love that for her. Like, everywhere in Soho, people got on the shoes, bro. And like, every fit be fire. I wanna get them and like archive them. Like, I wanna get them and like not wear them. And then I just squirted this again because I'm like, it's not damp enough. And then I literally, guys, just damp this into my skin like that because I want to give skin it's just going to give like really natural skin so you just want to just press it into your skin like not too soft but like not like you know a medium so yeah the Martine Rose sneakers I've been seeing them every freaking wear like everywhere so I'm like dang I thought they was gonna be hard to get like shoes like that I just like don't even try like with Jordans I used to like be the type of kid to like sit in a line like from 4 a.m. to like to the store opens like I used to be that kid for Jordans and it was like fun and it was like part of the culture of getting Jordans but like nowadays like it's really like not like that you gotta get a raffle and then it's like I don't know I feel like it's rigged I remember my co-worker telling me like it wasn't rigged because he like sells sneakers and he just he's won raffles and stuff like that before and I'm just like hmm I hear you but I'm just like, I don't, I guess I don't care enough to even do a raffle to get like those types of sneakers because my style, I feel like, I don't want to say has evolved, but I've just like, I've grown interest into other things that are like not overly hyped to the point where I got to like pay triple the markup for them, you know, like more like classic pieces. Because I feel like when it comes to like Jordans and like, I don't know, Nikes, like pay over a couple hundred dollars, it's just like crazy because it's like ultimately like a cheap, not it's not like a shoe that's gonna like uphold, uphold over time. I guess it will. Actually, nah, the brand ones do look good, like beaded and busted. But y'all know what I'm trying to say. Like, it's just not made as well as like a nice, you know, leather shoe, like a nice 30 boot. Like, this is worth like six, seven hundred dollars. This is a, like a calf skin leather shoe made in Italy, you know, like just. The craftsmanship, the tabby toe, all of that went into making this. Like, the price kind of makes sense. But then it's like, when you're paying like $700 for like Nikes or like sneakers, it's like, you're ultimately paying for the hype of them. Or if you just like love that type stuff, then hey, I I, I feel that. Get what you want at the end of the day, because I feel like people might think that about me buying, you know, tabbies or anything. And so, like, I'm still going to buy it. And I feel like that's how anybody will feel. Anyway. Not talking. Uh, but yeah, I love like the Martine Rose sneakers. I think that they are definitely a vibe. With that being said, love to see the love for Martine Rose. And yeah, y'all. So that is literally how I do my freaking face. I don't even know how I look for real because I just did this all in my camera. Hmm. I think I blended her. I'm gonna see like when I'm editing. Like I'll be noticing like. When I'm editing, I'm like, dang, why didn't get that piece of like hair off my <laughs> eyelid or chocolate off my tooth? So I hope I ain't on here looking crazy. If so, I'm sorry. And I hope you get the gist of this natural dewy look. I want to even get to a point where I'm using like even less. Like I really want a little of my perfections to shine through a little bit more. But I'm still trying to like master that because yeah, I just be like going in there and then I just like putting it everywhere anyway so now i'm gonna go in with my dior mascara i have been using this mascara for a good little like year now i want to say and i feel like every time i get it it's kind of different like the consistency is kind of different because i feel like the last mascara i had for this it was like better like it was just so perfect but this i feel like the consistency is like really clumpy and it's like a lot of product that comes out on the brush initially so yeah but anyway I like to brush my lashes like that. This one is the iconic overcurl, and I get it in black. Every now and again, people be like, oh my god, are those your real eyelashes? And I'm like, yeah, I just used your mascara. Now, getting to this lip oil, I know I'm late to the game. Y'all probably like, girl, we already know about this lip oil, but I just got up on her. And I love this Dior Lip Glow Oil. 
I don't think I'll ever repurchase the lip gloss. Again, I've been using the lip gloss just as long as I've been using the mascara for like a year now because I feel like both of them was just what I was looking for when it came to like makeup products and just how I wanted them to appear on my face. And yeah, with that being said, shout out to the lip, lip oil, y'all. And it's the brush for me. Like this feel like a spa on your lips. Like um, it just feel like unreal like it just feels so soft oh my god like i'm just wow i'm amazed so that is what i'm going to be looking like tonight for the party i think i'm going to take my camera with me because i want to get better footage of my outfit because i feel like i did y'all dirty uh, oh and then as far as my brows go i do not touch my brows i want to get like a gel for them but yeah i haven't done like any arching or anything to my brows in like years these are my natural brows. Shout out to my Zeta. Okay, he gave me his very thick, nice eyebrows. So I kind of don't have to touch them. But yeah, this is the look, you guys. And then this is the fragrance that I'm going to be wearing tonight. Wood, sage, and sea salt by Jo Malone. Shout out to my friend Kendall. She got me this for my birthday. And literally, I got this on July, what, 6th? And this is where I'm at with it. I'd be really drowning myself in it. I love it so, so much. It smells so good on me. And it's like the perfect mix of like fresh and woody, which is my freaking jam. So, yeah. Say hi, guys. Did you do it them yourself? Nah, Lanisha, Lanisha had to hold it down. So. Very nice. Yeah, no, this is, um, Troy? I don't even do stuff like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing a shirt that got dogs on it. I thought they was polar bears when I bought it. I was high school. Uh, let's see. I'm wearing these dope ass Converse that I always get compliments on. And Kendall got me for Christmas. Nice. That's uh, it. I got this this family heirloom fucking bag. It's a what do you call it? Fanny pack. Nice. I don't know. I'm lit. I drink a lot. I <laughs> that much. She snuck up on me like Timmy said it was. Now I'm about to get high. So <laughs> lit. Yeah. And it's Jaleesa, the birthday girl, which you guys saw. <laughs> JT, say hi to my vlog. That's JT, y'all. I was talking about JT in a Paris vlog. <laughs> Recorded it right. 
So I've made it home here with Dosh Bigosh. Hey mama. Say hi. Say hi mama. Say hi. Say hi. Give me kisses. Give me kisses. Give me kisses. So I'm about to take her out. And that's the vlog you guys. I mean that's the get ready with me. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I got good footage for you guys. Um, I feel like I did. I feel really good about this. Get ready with me. I'm happy I was able to like capture everyone in their outfits. Never done that in my vlogs. I feel like I'm becoming like more comfortable with vlogging like around like friends and stuff, which is nice because I feel like usually I just feel like I'm imposing or like I feel like something on my. It feel like I'm imposing or it feels like um. Yeah, the girl with the camera, like, oh, why does she have the camera? Like, that's how I'll be feeling. But anyway, it was cool, cool vibes, good energy, love, and it was amazing. Good night. Happy birthday, Jaleesa! Um, oh my gosh, y'all, tell me why I forgot her gift. I should have said it, like, literally by the freaking door. I left it right here. Oh, wait, I left it right here, bro. Blue, blue. So... <laughs> I am um, luckily Simone is gonna like meet up with me tomorrow at some point so I'll be able to get her her gift because um, I don't know if I'm gonna see her before I leave for my trip but yeah it was crazy I'm like dang how I forget the gift but yeah it was a good night we went to this Mexican restaurant called what was it this is where we went and I got off at West 4th it was right by that it was a good little you know 30 minute little train ride for me so it was great Angelisa's mom was so cute it was just such a good night it was such a good wholesome night I'm so happy I was able to experience it and now I want to take Dasha out thank you guys so much for watching she's so thirsty look at her you so thirsty boy yeah so I'm about to take her out and I want to say goodbye to you guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the vlog if you did please be sure to smash the like button you guys and if you're new here, hi. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Sierra. And oh my God, I don't even know what I just did there. Goodbye, guys. Peace.